It ain't like he's controlling the yoke and he's in the seat, but he's actually in the same, in the midst of your troubles and trials and tribulations, he's actually there. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So he's part True. of servitude. True. When, because of the fact, he leads by example. He's not the type of person that just watches and allows you to do the work. Because then again, your burden will be light. Somebody's got to guide. Somebody's got to lead. One, you, can't, you can't be both. You know what I'm saying? So in our walk with God, we have to realize that sometimes it's hard to love to those that don't want to love us back. Sometimes it's hard to trust when people have stolen from you or taken from you. And sometimes it's hard to forgive somebody when you know you can forgive them and they'll turn around and do the same thing over and over again. And it gets exhausting and it gets tired. And sometimes you just want to give up on that person. But that same person that you feel about, that's the same way God felt about you. Think about when he was on the cross and he was tired and exhausted and wanted to give up. You know, thinking that God, the Father, turned his back on You know, looking for God. But he stayed on the cross. He completed his mission. So how, how strong are you to complete the mission that God has already ordained? Not for yourself, but for somebody else. That's the question in hand. Because all while you're doing this walk, or in this journey, it's not just for you, it's for somebody else to take notice, to know that Christ works in your life, to know that you have the research, the resources to go uh, the go-to person and serve a higher form than yourself, to be selfless, to count on God and not have to worry about uh, if, if Tyrone's ever going to get out of jail and help you out. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you, we, sometimes we have to like let go of the people that have hurt us. I'm not saying that you don't forgive them and you don't love them and you don't uh, put, put the, the, uh, the characteristics of who Christ is upon them as well, but you're not going to be uh, somebody going to tramp on you either. You know what I mean? So you have to be, take that into consideration. As the pastor said, always use the sermon. Amen? Amen. So, in our struggles, again, people are watching, and people will always know that as long as we keep pressing forth, we know that we have a purpose in our press. We know that there is a uh, there's a, a reason why we go through our, our issues and our struggles. And no matter who you are, how much money you got, what kind of privilege you have, you're, when it comes to Christ, you're always going to have some kind of imperfection because if, if we were all perfect, we wouldn't need Christ. True. Then we end up meeting glory, all of the people, then that's when we're perfect. You know, we're perfect in Christ, but by ourselves, you know, we still have a thorn on our side that we need to iron out or, or, or pray, you know. And that's, even when I have a thorn, that don't mean I count on that thorn to use as an excuse. Or I look at my own thorn and not recognize that you have a thorn. I have to pray about you, pray about you, pray about you. We all have a thorn, you know. But the thorn is only there to let us know that we still need God. Amen. Amen. So in Amen. our burdens and in our struggles, know that God will always be there. And it's, it, the, even though the scripture says that Christ is asleep, I'm quite sure he had one eye open to see what was going on. Amen. Amen. Because he was in the storm too. Amen. 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 Praise God. Let us pray. Father God.